well, they're all trapped by what's expected of them by themselves or by society. So I think that that's what binds them. Yeah. And it, on, on a superficial uh, level, you might think that they're trapped by men, you know, because they're trapped in a marriage or they're trapped by their pimp. But in the end, I think we want to say to ourselves, and this might be an illusion, but that of course you can free yourself. I guess the knowledge of doing things to yourself, to have sort of self-destructive behavior, doing things that are not good for you, like, you know, I've, I've had a smoking addiction or I've been in difficult relationships where you're like, I know it's not good for me, but why I'm still doing this? Like, what is that self-destructive, what's that self-sabotage in me? Um, that is sort of I can relate to, but I think a lot of people can, and and therefore she, you know, Sylvia is not. It, it doesn't necessarily have to do with the arena that she works in. It's it's everywhere. Yes, I totally agree. We're all addicts in 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 certain on certain levels. Yes, exactly. I agree with that, and that's why we also really chose on purpose very different economic layers of society. You know, Sylvia is in a very different social context than my character, who's like this very rich elite woman and who has to like, in order to find out where her husband is, has to sort of go down into this world and finds an unexpected freedom in that world, you know? She dreads it and she thinks it's gonna sort of overwhelm her, but then unexpectedly she finds freedom there. And for Maika, you know, Avi's character, she's more in the middle of all of that, you know? She's a policewoman, a detective trying to find her way. So it was very important to us to also show those different layers. For me personally, I recognize myself in all three, you know, really, I mean, I, I don't have children, so I really, I recognize myself in Esther who thinks she's not a real woman if she doesn't have a child and, and she has a daddy complex which is something I completely do but I also recognize myself in Sylvia you know being in a toxic relationship and then in Afi trying to be everything you know I think we all relate to that where you mm. really think I need to be everything and you just can't. Extremely, yeah, extremely important. And also we wanted really great actors to, 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 to do it. And, 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 and it's also very important what I find interesting uh, in my character's storyline that um, my husband seems to have everything, you know, he's a professor and he's so intellectual and like left wing and alternative. And then in the end, I mean, for, uh, we don't want to spoil anything, but of course there's a completely different, you know, side to him that, that, that my character has, has no clue exists. And we just wanted to say that you can go to the red light district and find very, very, very toxic relationships, but we, you can also just go home and find very toxic relationships. Yeah. yeah. My, my favorite storyline is her storyline. I think it's the most compelling. She's extremely funny. Uh, even though it's such a sad story, her character has this dark humor, which also is something Carice can really portray very well. And it's just, I don't know, I find- There's it. a few moments where where I'm trying to bribe you, you know, give me your, well, I'm not spoiling, but give me your hmm, and I'll give you <laughs> what? <laughs> saying words without saying words. Give me your ha, huh. and then I'm like, give me your who? <laughs> We're all like, great, Annika, thank you. <laughs> what are you even doing? Give <laughs> <laughs> oh, me your <laughs> beep. Yes, I'm gonna do it. At least you didn't spoil anything. <laughs> it's a scene, it's but later in you But I don't want to spoil yeah. it. No, no, but I won't spoil it. But it's a scene where it's sort of like uh, a negotiation between our two characters. And it's really, it, it is really funny. And, and I, I, I have to say, I enjoyed the scenes where our characters meet and they actually sort of start living together, which is like a completely odd couple, you know, like, I think it's wonderful. I, I, I sometimes even fantasize about making a movie just about that. Those two characters like going on a Thelma and Louise kind of, you know, drive to road movie. I think those, those were the most enjoyable. And of course, acting together. We have yeah. been acting in the past a lot together, but that kind of like our, our, our careers went on separate ways. So it was an absolute joy, of course. Yeah, to, we and, a lot of and also, we, yeah, I mean, Sometimes it might have been annoying to the crew because we almost like beat ourselves all the time. Have our own language together and you know what I mean? We're very, you know, symbiotic and it was just wonderful to, I don't know, I really enjoyed the, the, the moments where our characters were in yeah. one space. Very proud of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. me too. And also the, the the response was so good. It was a, a real, yeah. a real relief after such a long time of yeah. developing and making it. And 
it was a big, big hit in our country and people also just enjoyed it on a thriller level, you know, just were addicted to it, which is great. Yeah, they it's, really binged it. They those. binged it and that's something you can only hope for. Yeah. And I think in the end, talking about a little bit of positivity, I do think they all find, even sometimes in a darker way, but they do find a, a form of freedom, you know, each in their own yeah. way. They do find freedom a little bit, I, I think. But yeah, there's room to grow. There's still there's a lot of to room do. to grow. Room for yeah, but um, yeah, no, we are very proud of it. I'm, I love watching it. I don't feel because I have a lot of issues watching myself, and with this I don't because I'm just proud of the bigger story yeah. and not so much of my character. But I'm just proud of what it is as yeah. a whole. As a whole, yeah. Yeah, and so you don't care anymore, and vanity goes out of the window, and ego goes out of the window, and you just enjoy what it has become. Well. <laughs> um, <laughs> what would we say to the to the Brits? <laughs> I think uh, we had a lot of uh, you know judgment about it when when we started our research. So I think uh, it's it's and it's also a world that everybody thinks about, you know, and has has ideas about. So in that sense, it's a great watch because you will the, the curtain will be lifted a little bit. Not that again we we won't provide any answers, but we will ask the questions and or solutions. Yeah, yeah, or solutions, but we will try to show whatever we. Uh, experience. Think, experience that it is. Um, so I think if you want to open up and if you want to see a show that you know is, is not only an addictive thriller but has something to say about life and, and has something to say about this world of sex work, you should just watch it and then we will speak to you again afterwards. We have questions. Plus three one six zero zero five nine two three four five. I always answer. <laughs> I wonder whose phone number this was.